Hey, it's Jill. I'm here to show you one of my projects today. So anyway, this is a project that I did um, maybe a few years ago, but today I'm going to do an upgrade on it and I'm going to show you how to do it from start to finish. Um, so anyway, uh, a few years ago I had, um, I found this thing called Wonder Wheelie. It was a portable shopping cart that is made for like anybody who wants to buy that, whatever. <laughs> we found it, I found it at the Goodwill. I was like, oh, this is really cool. I could take it to the mall. Um, <clears throat> I could carry things to the beach in it, whatever. That's what it's for. Um, and it was fine, but there was no drink holders. And I just felt like I could do better. <laughs> I could take the same concept because I'm gonna have to have a drink holder if I'm in the mall and I just um, I thought how cool would it be if we could all repurpose our old strollers okay so um, my kids were a little old for strollers so I didn't have one so I went and found one of these old strollers this was actually a stroller <laughs> okay and so see this this can come up whatever so this is a trend, what is it called? Trend sport um, stroller. So I wanted to get one that had a um, drink holder. It has to have one of these kinds of uh, canopy holders, like a, a one with like a, a wire thing. <clears throat> um, for this one, I really wanted it to be uh, like slender. So that it would fit between like aisles of clothing and stuff like that easy because I knew that was a problem with my bigger stroller when I had kids <clears throat> and let's see what else um I don't know I just I decided that I could do this and I could sew it so I did this and what I did there's some things that you have to take apart and take off of the stroller and then you have to add this, and so I'm a sewer, and I sewed all this these uh, this cargo net stuff on. I'm not really sure why I put this board in here, because I later figured out, let's see, I guess I just Velcroed it in. Really don't need it. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> Maybe just because it flops around, but I could have secured it on the corners and it would have been just fine. I'm not really sure why I didn't think of that because the board just, um, it's just a little awkward and it adds weight. So this is a really lightweight stroller. You can still lift up and put stuff down below. This is really useful. You can fold it up. I don't know, you know, but anyway, then you just, uh, just like a regular stroller, fold it back up and you can put it in your car. So easy. Okay, so recently I became a soccer mom and I was hauling a lot of stuff out to the field because I really wanted a canopy because I just can't stand the sun. Like I love, you know, nice weather, but um, like I can't handle the heat and I wanted a canopy, I want chairs, I'd like to have a cooler and I was trying to push that other stroller through the grass and some gravel and it wasn't working really well. And I just felt like I wanted one that rolls better. So I went and got a jogging stroller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this one, but I'm gonna do it right here on camera so you can see what I do. And I'm gonna use duct tape, black duct tape, instead of sewing it. And that way, it is assured that anyone can do it. All right? So I'm excited about this project and I'm going to get started. We're going to look through this stroller and just talk about some of the things that may or may not need to be removed and how you might set it up depending on what kind of stroller you have or find. All right. First, I want to show you the very most important reason why I got this particular stroller, obviously the big wheels, but I knew that I wanted to carry this big pop-up tent out to the soccer field. Um, it's pretty heavy and I tried using like a little dolly 
uh, like a luggage dolly and it would like fall off the sides. So I noticed that this um, jogging stroller has this front thing on it and it kind of goes like it indents down in. So I thought that would be ideal for this big pop-up tent. So first let's just test it out. <clears throat> Actually tested it out, so I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna pop this off. Okay, so this is gonna come off later anyway. Um, and I'm gonna be able to put stuff back here. Normally I would have this out and have my big bag, but when I carry this thing, I'm probably going to put a few things in that area and then I'm gonna fold it up and then I'm gonna stick this on here. This is, this is a beautiful thing. For, it's the craziest thing that that little indent turned out to be the exact size that I need for this tent. I mean, look at this. Look at how easy that's gonna be when I go out to the soccer field. So, <clears throat> I'll still, this will come down. I'll have this area down here and I'll have this down to here that I can still stick things in, even though some of this area up here is taken when I go to the soccer field. So I am way, way, way excited about that. So I'm gonna take this off here and then we're gonna talk about the rest of the stroller. Next, we have to figure out how to get this thing to go flat, okay? Because it is connected to this piece right here. So a few things. Um, first of all, it's connected by these screws back here. So all you'd have to do, all I'm gonna have to do um, let me lighten that up. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to take those screws out and that's going to come right down. Now it's still going to be sewn to this bottom piece. Um, so I'm just going to cut this whole thing off. So then I'll just have this flap piece at the bottom with no support. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, you're, I'm either going, I would either build the you know the the bag thing that comes down the cart part to support that my the fabric that i got is pretty stretchy so that's not going to work um uh, it's probably it would be too stretchy and it, it would probably pull down with weight um so what i'm going to do is reinforce it with like um uh, some kind of nylon thing like this i have a ton of that in my sewing room I'm going to still not use duct tape. The great thing about these jogging strollers, if you notice behind, they already have this little, little mechanism for making it go up and down. So what's cool is once I take that out and cut all this off, I'm still going to have that little pocket there. So I think what I'm going to do is get some more of this strapping, right, like this. I'm going to stick it through that whole thing all the way across and all the way up on both sides figure out the exact length that i need and then i'm i might actually even use one of those things again and screw it on and i'm probably going to do that before i put the like uh the fabric that is the bag on um so then i will have this supported and it'll be all the way down to here this is going to be so cool i'm so excited so in the end if you can see see this is where uh, this is where my bag will start and it will hang down and so this thing will come down a little further so the bag will probably kind of have a little bit of a diagonal to get to the bottom of that but i'm not going to add anything so when I do my bag this time, the actual bottom of the stroller is going to be the bottom. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take, uh, we're, you know what, as we go, we're going to figure that out because I'm going to have to go through either between, probably between these and around some things. So we're going to have to figure out how to get this thing on. I don't want to make a bottom. I just want to take my bag to the bottom of this and duct tape it down there underneath.
so that it'll be pretty all that. So I think that's all that's going to be needing to be removed. Obviously, I'm going to have this piece right here sticking out. It's riveted. This will be gone, but this piece <clears throat> will still be here. That won't be a problem. Everything else can probably stay. And obviously, I want my drink cups to stay. All right, one more thing. seat not go too for too far forward it's got these <clears throat> so let's let me show you my idea with this since we found this and take this off but I think it could be helpful well I gotta unscrew it from the actual <laughs> nylon because of the, the screw in there. Okay, got that out. <clears throat> so what I think is, it's gonna be, I mean, that's really at the level that I want this to be at, or close. So if I'm gonna want this to be out like this, this would actually be a really good um, uh, support. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this because this was folded at first. Um, one thing you can do to not fray the ends when you cut these is you can put glue on them um, or like burn them with a, <clears throat> with a lighter. So I'm going to cut this down, fold it, and I'm gonna have to put a hole in it in advance probably somehow like a nail or whatever. Um, and then I'm going to screw that back on and use that as a mid mid support on both sides So that's kind of great because that will actually already hold up some and then I'm also going to put that one through the back of this So that actually was a help now. I do need to get these straps off of here So I'm also going to just cut those off because they don't go through the back I am going to save this um, this 
could fix backpacks. I could use it in another prod project. It it's just something that could be handy to have, um, especially if you've got little babies and you're trying to figure out how to like latch them into things. Um, this thing could come in handy. You can al always get new nylon cords if you need them to to attach to something else. So I always keep stuff like this. Um, old luggage, before if I throw it away, I'm cutting off like any kind of plastic um, th uh, buckle or anything like that. And I've used them in so many things. So that's part of the project mode I'm in all the time. All right, okay, this thing is proving harder than I thought because this little screw is hidden. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, looks like I got it now. So I'm hoping this pops right out. And the screw comes out. Hooray! Alright. That's gone. Okay, so this is what happens when you back off for a few minutes and you think about something. And I just had an idea. Okay, so Remember how I took off the two th one of the things? I told you I might leave the squared off one. Well, the reason I ended up leaving it is because it's on the kind of on the inside. If I left the outside one, it would almost be outside the frame of the stroller when I put the baskety thing on. <clears throat> but the thing is, when I you know, these two things could only go about this far apart, you know, the other way. It was like this before because when it was out here, the canopy kept it from going. But now, this thing is free to move. So, <laughs> look what I thought about. What if it goes on the outside of the frame? So, what if I pulled it all the way down? And I pulled this one all the way down. Oh, my gosh. Then, I can put this back in. And if I do, I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, now I'll have to screw that back in, but look at this. Oh my gosh, now I can put this all the way down like that and not be in the way. And it's my support. Guys, now I don't have to deal with these, like, strappy things. Um, I mean, I could if I still wanted to, but I'm not, I don't really want to because I actually want this to be able to flip up to get into the basket. So if I would have screwed this to it, that would have kept me from pulling that up. So that would have been a mistake, actually. And this is an even better solution. I'm so excited. All right, well, I'm going to screw those back in. I'm going to keep going. All right, we're on day two of the project. I didn't do it all in one day. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm ready to put on the basket. I went and got some duct tape. First time I went and f tried to find black, I got home and it was kind of grayish. I really wanted it to be black. So I had to get back over there. Oh, by the way. If you have, can't see, I have a little friend down here. <laughs> this is our cat, Simon. So he has found that that's a really great place to hang out. It's gonna freak him out though when I start putting this around and he's gonna start playing with it, I'm sure. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to put this fabric on and it is a little long, you know, it's going way down, but I wouldn't really cut it off um, until we know exactly what we wanna do. So, what I think I want to do is I want to start here, okay? Because back here is where my seam is going to be, all right? So I'm going to go, I'm going to kind of find the middle. So I just kind of want to start right here. And what I'm going to do, if I had cargo net, like I do here, like I used before, um, it would work even better, but the reason, um, I would not use regular fabric if you're gonna do duct tape. 
And the reason is because the duct tape's just gonna stick to the fabric on each side. Whereas with this, the parts with holes, uh, the, the duct tape will stick to itself on each side. So I think that's kind of, that's gonna be the extra reinforcement that I'm gonna need to keep this on there without sewing. So I'm gonna get started, kinda give you a little speedy rendition of me putting this on here. here what we could what I could do so here here's my dilemma 
do I pull it up into the middle and let the bag not like go underneath, but we could, um, you know, maybe I could tie it in the middle here and cut the extra off and it would be a bag. And then I could just um, secure it in the corners. Uh, that might be the best thing because if I don't, if I just uh, stick it under, because if I just stick it under, then we could have problems with things falling out if we don't secure every section around here. So, um, and then I don't have to go around these poles. So I'm kind of leaning towards um, tying it up in the middle and then just securing it on the corners just so nothing can get out. It can stretch, things in it can stretch um, and be big and bulky, but, uh, and it'll be secured to the bottom, but it won't, it, there won't be holes where things could get out. So I think that's the direction I'm gonna go. And uh, I'm gonna finish taping this up and then we'll see how we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm back, got my helper Faith. She's gonna do something for me. All right, you stay there. I know she wants to play with the cats, but. There's a cat right under I there. know, Aspen's under there now, and Simon's over there. Okay, you guys don't bother my video. Okay, so I finished this um, seam by doing this tape front, and I did it on the back. And now, I wanna to talk to you about this inside thing. I don't wanna stand up, because I don't wanna be out of the video, but um, the idea is, oops, what we're doing here, is we want to take all this extra and figure out where it needs to be down here. And this is what I wanna do. I just wanna like duct tape this and cut the extra off. We're just trying to do what, I mean, I don't know if duct tape is gonna work because some of it could pull out or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna find, I might just knot it, you know? Um, just something to make that then just sit at the bottom and be the bottom. But I want to also, like I said before, I want to secure these, the edges. So it kind of at least has some structure to it. I think it's gonna be easy on this side because I've got this little lip thing that I can go under but what I was thinking on this side, um, remember that that um, thing under here where um, the strap goes through that I cut out? So I think I'm going to use that to actually be the structure part for this. So I'm gonna have Faith help me here in a sec. So what we need to do, I need you to hold this. Oop. Hold the end of that. Okay. We need to probably make a piece at least as wide, a little bit wider than that. It's that little pocket is not, you can't put a sticky piece of tape in there. So I'm going to fold it in half. You hold it down there, okay? I'm going to fold it. Don't fold it. I'm going to do it all the way down. It's going to be like a strap. It'd be like using the nylon. Um, stuff, but we don't need it because we have duct tape. <laughs> All right, faith. Now, can you get down under there and put that through that and all the way through there? Can you stick that through there? Okay, you got that. It's working good. I did it. Awesome. Okay. So let's show them. All right. So it's down here. It's under here. So I've got parts on each end that I'm going to use to attach um, to the bottom of this. I'll probably put tape on each side, just enough to give it structure to keep it um, from, you know, moving around too much. So that's the idea on this side. I'm going to do the same kind of thing on this side with a strap, but it won't have loops to go through. It will stay in place more because it has this lip. 
Okay, so what I ended up doing was I, I got in here and I found out how much extra I had and I cut it off over here on this side so I don't have all the extra now. And so what I figured out is I think I want to tape this whole bottom just together. All this whole, like a seam and then just let it sit down in there. And it looks like I have probably mm, eight inches too much. So I probably need to take off another eight inches um, for it to be like about perfect. I'm gonna measure that again. Cupcake. Oh yeah, Faith made cupcakes today. Are they yummy? Yep, they're pretty delicious. <laughs> We're All gonna right, make the other ones later. Okay, so I think, yes, I, I have about eight inches too much. So I'll probably take about five inches off and then take this together. Hey, we are done with this. I may end up putting some little, uh, I'm going to probably show you real quick how to put a little bag on the back. But for the most part, this is done um, as far as what I needed to do to make it functional. Um, I wanted to show you how we hooked this. In the front, um, I just kind of, this is how I ended up making the seams come together as I taped them together. But that was great because I used this tape then to attach it to the bottom of this. So if you see inside, it's attached by the tape in the front. And then I had taped it all the way down the center. Like I said, that's the back tape thing. And then I did the same thing in the back where I just taped the two seams together and then I attached them over here to this thing that went underneath. So it's attached so that, you know, it really won't go off the side of that. And then this can still flip up. This still, this little bar provides some extra support and you can get into the area down there. And all of it, you know, falls really nice. It's pretty straight. I had to secure these with more tape uh, just to make sure if they pull, they won't come off. So I just kind of put strips of tape and kind of probably two or three on each side. You know, that's something that can always be added. So anytime you have a problem or something's coming loose, you can just use black duct tape. Isn't that awesome? All right, so quickly I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put a pouch on the back with my cargo net. Okay, what I wanna do here is I want to use some cargo net to make a pouch uh, for my purse. Because I really don't want my purse to be mixed up in the other stuff. So I'm going to, I want to keep the seam in the behind. So I'm going to attach a seam back here, but let's, for, for measuring, I'm going to need to duct tape it up here, straight across. And then as far as how much I need for the front, I need it to sag just a little so that I can get my purse in uh, because otherwise if it's straight across I won't be able to pull it out to get my purse in. So I want it to sag probably about that much. So I'm going to cut it off right here and I'm going to cut it off the length of that and then we'll get started taping it up. Okay, so I cut this about the size. It's a little longer than it needs to be because I just want to figure out what length I need. So I'm going to tape this seam up, okay, first so that I can put it in the back and then I'm going to tape it to that. So I'll tape it up and then I'll put it back up. All right guys, I'm done with my stroller conversion. I'm very happy with it. Hey, there's Faith, my little helper. So it looks really great. Um, it's totally straight and everything. I've got this little purse holder back here. And so it kind of falls down so that I can kind of just stick my purse in and it will just hang there. 
This goes all the way down to there, and I just kind of secured it at the bottom. You can use duct tape for anything, okay? Look how much space is in there, all right? And don't forget, we can also like fold it, like put a few things in and fold it. See how you can see that? See how that it stretches out, but that's okay because it's stretchy. And you can put the um, the tent down there, the, the pop-up tent, and we can go to the soccer field. So I know you guys can do this yourself. It's easy, it's not that hard, okay? Everything I did was duct tape. I did not sew this time. I just, you know, cut and, and a lot of times it's just as you go, you kind of figure it out. But, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can work it out with a little duct tape and you can always secure it later if you have any problems. All right, I, I can't wait to see your all's projects. Bye.